Good evening to you all. In the digital age, we've built a world reliant on technology. Like a virus spreading through a network, ransomware has become a global epidemic. This malicious software holds our data hostage, demanding hefty ransoms for its release. This is the story of one such group, Reveal. Reveal, short for ransomware evil, was not your average cybercriminal group. They were sophisticated, organized, and utterly ruthless. Their weapon of choice, ransomware as a service, or Reyes. Imagine a dark web marketplace where anyone for the right price could rent out Reveal's ransomware tools and infrastructure. This allowed even low-level criminals to launch devastating attacks, while Reveal took a cut of the profits. Their targets were carefully chosen, often large corporations or critical infrastructure providers. Reveal's tactics were highly effective, netting them hundreds of millions of dollars in illicit profits. But their reign of terror wouldn't last forever. For years, Russia had turned a blind eye to the cybercriminal activity within its borders, but the rise of ransomware, and Reveal in particular, had become impossible to ignore. High-profile attacks on critical infrastructure like the Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack had exposed the vulnerability of Western nations. Diplomatic channels ran hot with demands for action. Public statements by world leaders condemned Russia's inaction. The pressure was mounting and something had to give. In a surprising turn of events, Russia signalled a willingness to cooperate. The arrest of Reveal members was a watershed moment. How does a group like Reveal even function? How do they stay hidden, make money and evade capture? Reveal and other ransomware gangs operate like illicit businesses with a hierarchical structure. At the top, you have the developers, the masterminds behind the malware itself. These individuals are highly skilled, often with backgrounds in computer science and cryptography. Below them, you have the affiliates, the ones who actually carry out the attacks. Reveal provides them with the tools and support they need to launch attacks in exchange for a cut of the ransom. Then there's the money laundering operation. Cryptocurrency plays a vital role here, allowing criminals to move funds quickly and anonymously across borders. This entire operation was shrouded in secrecy, operating in the darkest corners of the internet. But despite their efforts, Reveal left behind a trail of digital breadcrumbs. To understand Reveal's methods, we need to venture into the shadowy world of the dark web. This hidden part of the internet is a haven for criminal activity where anonymity is prized. Reveal used the dark web extensively, both for recruitment and communication. They maintained a presence on various underground forums advertising their services and recruiting new affiliates. Communication within the group was highly encrypted, often using secure messaging apps and VPNs to mask their location and identities. But even in the shadowy world of the dark web, Reveal gained a reputation. Reveal's victims weren't just random individuals or small businesses. They specifically targeted high-profile organizations, those with deep pockets and a lot to lose. One of their most notorious attacks was on Travelex, a global foreign exchange company. In December 2019, Reveal infiltrated Travelex's systems, encrypting their data and demanding a hefty ransom. The attack crippled Travelex's operations, forcing them offline for weeks. Another high-profile target was Acer, a multinational electronics giant. In March 2021, Reveal hit Acer with a massive ransomware attack, demanding a record-breaking ransom. These attacks had a devastating impact, disrupting operations and jeopardizing sensitive data. Reveal's most audacious attack took place over the 4th of July weekend in 2021. They targeted Kaseya, an American IT software company that provided services to thousands of businesses worldwide. Reveal's ransomware spread like wildfire, encrypting data and crippling systems across the globe. From small businesses to critical infrastructure providers, thousands of organizations were impacted. 
Supermarkets in Sweden had to close their doors. Schools in New Zealand couldn't access student records. They demanded a staggering $70 million ransom to release the decryption key. The Kaseya attack sent shockwaves through the cybersecurity community and beyond. The pressure on Russia to act had reached a boiling point. Reveals attack on JBS, one of the world's largest meat processing companies, exposed the fragility of our supply chains. In May 2021, Reveal struck JBS, infiltrating their systems and bringing their operations to a standstill. JBS handles a significant portion of the world's meat production. With their plants shut down, the impact was felt immediately. Supermarket shelves started emptying, prices began to rise, and the threat of meat shortages loomed large. In the end, JBS made the difficult decision to pay the ransom, a whopping $11 million. It was a decision driven by necessity, but it also highlighted the difficult choices that victims of ransomware face. The question of whether or not to pay the ransom is a complex one. Law enforcement agencies generally advise against it, paying only encourages further attacks, and there's no guarantee that the criminals will actually release the data. But for businesses facing the crippling effects of a ransomware attack, the decision is rarely so clear-cut. The cost of downtime, lost revenue and potential reputational damage can be immense. For some, paying the ransom is seen as the quickest way to resolve the situation. The more companies that pay, the more profitable ransomware becomes. The arrests of Reveal members were a step in the right direction, but the fight against ransomware is far from over. The rise of ransomware wasn't just a problem for individual countries anymore, it was a global threat, one that required a global response. International forums and summits became platforms to discuss this growing threat. World leaders started sharing intelligence, coordinating strategies and calling for greater cooperation to combat cybercrime. There were calls for greater regulation of cryptocurrency, a known haven for money laundering. Some argued for stronger international agreements to crack down on cybercriminal activity. The challenge was getting everyone on the same page. The United States, hit particularly hard by ransomware attacks, found itself at the forefront of this global effort. The US government took a multi-pronged approach, combining diplomatic pressure with domestic action. On the diplomatic front, the US engaged in high-level talks with other countries, particularly Russia. Domestically, the US government took steps to strengthen its own cybersecurity posture. They invested heavily in cybersecurity defenses and issued warnings to businesses about the threat of ransomware. The US also went after Reveal's infrastructure directly. They offered a $10 million reward for information leading to the identification or location of key Reveal members. The pressure on Russia to act was immense. The US and its allies made it clear that harboring cybercriminals would have consequences. They threatened sanctions, imposed diplomatic costs, and publicly called out Russia's inaction. The Kaseya attack was a wake-up call. It demonstrated just how disruptive ransomware could be, and it put Russia in the hot seat. Then, in a surprising turn of events, Russia announced the arrest of several rebel members. The timing was no coincidence. The announcement of the Reveal arrests came as a shock to many. For years, Russia had been seen as a safe haven for cyber criminals. The US and its allies weren't just making empty threats. They were actively sharing intelligence with Russian authorities. Even within Russia, there was a growing realization that these cyber criminal gangs had become a liability. Russian businesses were also becoming victims of ransomware attacks. Russia needed to demonstrate that it was willing to cooperate on matters of international security. The reveal arrests were a way to do just that. The operation itself was swift and decisive. 
Russian authorities, acting on intelligence provided by both domestic and international partners, conducted a series of coordinated raids. They targeted the homes of suspected Reveal members, as well as locations believed to be used for their operations. These were individuals who moved in the shadows, using encryption and anonymity tools to cover their tracks. The raids were carefully planned and executed. They seized computers, servers, mobile phones, and anything that could contain evidence of Reveal's criminal activities. They also froze bank accounts and seized assets, including luxury cars and cryptocurrency holdings. The operation sent a clear message. Russia was no longer a safe haven for cyber criminals. Section three, the spoils of cybercrime. The images released by the Russian authorities painted a stark picture of Reveal's profits. Stacks of cash, rubles, euros, dollars, all neatly bundled. Gold bars gleaming under the harsh lights. Luxury goods, watches, clothes, jewelry, all testament to Reveal's lavish lifestyle. But the most telling image was of the computers. Laptops and desktops, screens filled with lines of code. The evidence seized was a treasure trove for law enforcement. The Revel arrests, they sent shockwaves through the cybercriminal underworld. For years, the assumption had been that operating from Russia offered a certain level of immunity. The Kremlin's historic reluctance to extradite cybercriminals, particularly to the United States, had created a sense of impunity. These arrests, they shattered that perception. Suddenly, the game had changed. Other ransomware gangs, groups like Conti and Darkseid, they started to feel the heat. They realized that they were no longer operating in the shadows with complete anonymity. Some groups, they went into panic mode. They shut down their operations, disbanded their affiliates, and disappeared into the digital ether. They knew that law enforcement agencies were watching and they didn't want to take any chances. Others more brazen, they tried to adapt. They shifted their operations to other countries, places with weaker cybersecurity laws and a more permissive attitude towards cybercrime. But the Revel arrests had sent a clear message. The net was closing in. Now, while the Reveal arrests were a significant victory, it's important to remember that the fight against ransomware is far from over. Cybercrime, like any other criminal enterprise, it adapts and evolves. New ransomware gangs, they emerge from the shadows, eager to take advantage of the lucrative opportunities presented by this illicit market. And the tactics, they're constantly evolving. We're seeing a shift towards more targeted attacks, focusing on specific industries or organizations. And the ransom demands, they continue to rise, with some groups demanding tens of millions of dollars to release their victims' data. And it's not just about computers anymore. As our world becomes increasingly interconnected, the attack surface for ransomware, it expands. We're seeing ransomware attacks targeting critical infrastructure like power grids and hospitals, as well as mobile devices and even cloud-based services. The Reveal arrests, they highlighted the need for greater international cooperation in the fight against cybercrime. No single country, no matter how powerful, can tackle this threat alone. It requires a coordinated global effort, one that transcends political differences and national borders. We're starting to see some positive signs. The international community, it's coming together to share intelligence, to develop joint strategies and to put pressure on countries that harbor cyber criminals. There's a growing recognition that cybercrime is not just a technical problem, but a geopolitical one. It requires a coordinated response, one that involves governments, law enforcement agencies, the private sector and international organizations. The challenge now is to maintain this momentum. The fight against ransomware, it's a marathon, not a sprint. It requires sustained effort, continued investment, and a willingness to adapt to the ever-evolving threat. The reveal arrests were a watershed moment in the fight against ransomware, they showed that even the most notorious cyber criminals weren't beyond the reach of the law. But this victory was just one battle in a larger war. The threat of ransomware hasn't gone away. It's become more sophisticated and pervasive. 
The digital world offers incredible opportunities, but comes with inherent risks. As we rely more on technology, we need to be more vigilant. We need robust cybersecurity measures and education about online scams. It's a shared responsibility requiring collective effort.